What's up everybody, starting out this journey here. It's, uh, it's pretty nasty and wet. Um, it is 3.33 in the afternoon here. We got Steven filling up a gas can. How's it going, Steve? Hey. Over here we got Rob in the lifted LJ on 40 inch tires. We got the Tacoma and we got the XJ here. So we'll be meeting up in just a minute, going over to the uh, Buffalo Central Terminal and then we'll be uh, departing from there. So we're about to embark on this journey here. We're right behind Rob. We uh, we just got done meeting up at the Buffalo Central Terminal here. We got Stephen behind us in this uh, mess of a vehicle. It's uh, it's pretty crappy weather out right now. Raining pretty good. Um, we're about to head up to the border. We're crossing over the Peace Bridge, and I think our first order of business is we're going to stop at the currency exchange and uh, change our American dollars into Canadian money and. Uh, We'll check in there later. All right, so right now we're standing here in front of the one of the cur currency exchanges in Canada, and it closed a half hour ago. So now we're making a little detour back into uh, someplace. We're gonna see if we can get some uh, play money here instead of our real American dollars. mall here in Canada We're trying to find a currency exchange we got a little turned around oh these guys are back here so we're uh, trying to find a place to get our American dollar exchange over what's that no cameras in here yeah, no cameras. You're gonna have them all, all right so apparently you can't film inside Canadian malls so we got our Canadian play money here and we're gonna hit the road I think we've got about an hour drive or so before we get to where we're going two and a half, two and a half hour two and a half. drive so it is now currently 5.49 and uh, we're gonna hit a Walmart, get the rest of our supplies and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll check in later. stuck in traffic outside of Toronto right now. I've been stuck here for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. Sitting driving with the window down, letting the sound of my exhaust uh, keep me awake. It's a little... There we go. Alright, so we made it to a McDonald's here. Um, after drinking a Monster, you pretty much have to allow yourself 45 minutes to an hour to find a bathroom immediately or you're you're not gonna make it so we're stopping here ordered uh, got some chicken nuggets got some french fries you know just uh driving in the rain <sighs> hi 50 minutes from walmart well hello dog All right, so we're back. We got the crew here. We're trying, we're understanding the difficulties in converting US dollars to Canadian dollars and liters to gallons and trying to figure it all out with our mileage to figure out what kind of gas mileage we actually got. I got about 19.1 here in the Tacoma. 
God only knows what Steven got. And then Rob got, Rob, what'd you get? 18.85 .85 miles to the gallon in a lifted Wrangler Unlimited with 40 inch tires and one ton axles locked everything. Yeah. So we're about to hit the Walmart. Gonna get some last minute supplies, uh, wire, whatever else. Walmart, also known as Americaville. Let's try not to get kicked out by announcing that we have a video. Very discreet. I've filmed in many Walmarts before, never kicked out of one of them. Okay, so grocery shopping in Canada. They have bags of milk. Is there a spigot on this? I feel like I need to get it, but I feel like it'd be just a royal pain. I gotta get a carton. But this carton doesn't even have like a twisty on it. Canada. I'm gonna go off-roading with it. <laughs> Three and a quarter percent. You can get skim milk, that's good. Oh Lord. Of course in Canada we have frosted maple cookies. Because Canada, eh? All right, super quick update here for the milk in a bag situation. Apparently, they put it inside a jug inside their fridge with no lid on it. So I have no idea about that. It was like shopping on Mars. So we're about to leave here and go up to our campsite. So we'll check in as soon as we get back. Good morning, everybody. Day one here at the campsite. It is currently 9.54 in the morning on Friday. Decided to sleep in a little bit today considering, you know, wake up at six every day. We had a really long day yesterday. By the time we got into the campsite and had everything set up, it was about 2.30 in the morning. So uh, decided that we uh, get some good rest today. So this is a pretty beautiful area. I'm really liking my spot here. We got set up right here on some nice rocks overlooking water. We're gonna get some breakfast made here. I'm gonna get some shoes on, brush my teeth, do all that. recap of day one here. The bugs are absolutely disgusting. There are so many flies and mosquitoes. I don't know if you can see them buzzing around my head, but we've got just trying to fog everything. But we're over here trying to uh, 
take some pictures of the sunset, maybe get a little bit of video going on back at the uh, camp. We're trying to get some dinner going, trying to make a fire of enough smoke. My God. Trying to make enough fire. Oh. Trying to make a fire with enough smoke to get rid of some of these bugs, but I have no idea. This is this is absolutely terrible. But good day wheeling today. We're uh, looking forward to something good today. Tomorrow, maybe we'll get a little bit clear enough sky so we can take some pictures of stars tonight. We'll see. to uh, get rid of some of the bugs. It's absolutely unbearable. I've got one of these thermocells that I've probably wasted 30 Canadian dollars on. Um, trying to get a fire with some smoke going. The bugs have completely taken over Steven's Jeep. I've, I've never been around something as annoying as this in my entire life. This, this is absolutely insane. Bugs are so bad here you can't even you spray yourself oh my god you spray yourself with a spray and literally three seconds later these all these bugs are back you can actually spray them with the bug spray itself and nothing oh and nothing happens they're, they're landing all on my phone here but we're sitting waiting for rob we got the gopro here got the camera we're gonna do uh do some film oh my god i can't even deal with this anymore i need to get a hood or something but we're waiting for Rob to come up this hill. We're gonna film him, keep going down this service road here. We'll see where the day takes us.